Hello students, we have already seen about how people in Rajasthan manage without having a lot of rainfall and we have also seen some historical parts of Rajasthan. Now let's see what is the case today. How do people in all parts of the country get water? From what source and how? Let's list that down. Many people fill water from wells. So the everyday need of water of theirs is satisfied by the water that is drawn from the well. Now sometimes so happens is because of many reasons like uh, reducing of the ground water, no rainfall, the water in the wells dry up due to which people have to go far away to fetch water from other wells, that is the common wells. So in villages what happens is every house has its own well. So if the wells dry up, they have to go to far away places where the water is still there in the wells. And there are certain people who face a lot of problems because of the caste. So in villages what happens is the upper caste people do not allow the lower caste people to take water from their well. So this is a lot of problem that people in villages face. The next way is by building bore wells and pumping the water out from the bore well by hand pumps or electric motors. Now what are bore wells? They are actually vertical huge pipes which are drilled under the ground for pumping the ground water out. So this pumping can be done by hand pumps or electric motors. Now hand pump pumping is very tedious and by electric motors a lot of water comes up. So due to which there are chances that the ground water might reduce. But this water which is called the boring water that comes from the bore well is salty water. So it cannot be used much for drinking. Instead it is used for bathing and other purpose but not for drinking. People using hand pumps and electric motors for pumping the water out still have to buy water for drinking. Some people in our country get water from canals. Now what are canals? So suppose there is an area here which requires water for irrigation but the water body is far away here. So how do we get the water from here to this area? That is using canals. So canals are built so that water flows from the water bodies to certain areas. So people get water or they fill up water from these canals directly. So this is one more way. Now some part of our country there are certain colonies in our country which receive water by water tankers that is from the Jal board. The, every state has its own Jal board that is the water supply board. Now these Jal boards provide water tankers twice a day in some part of our country. So in some colonies it comes twice a day, in some colonies it comes once a day. So people have to fill water for the entire day from these tankers. So they have to stand in a queue to fill water and sometimes people also involve in fight over this water. So this is one more way of getting water nowadays. The next way is getting water directly in our houses from taps. That is through the huge pipes that is direct that comes from the Jal board water supply. Alright, now these the water that comes through our taps can be for half an hour they can supply throughout the day only half an hour or maybe one hour or for six hours or so on or sometimes in some places especially the cities the water is supplied in houses throughout the day all day long. So there is not much problem in the cities when it comes to water supply but in other areas in the rural areas there is a lot of problem of water. Now let's see some reasons due to which we are facing this shortage of water. In some places there is more water and people are wasting water like anything and in some places there is hardly some water and people have to struggle a lot to fetch water. So let's see the reasons why we face a shortage of water. Okay students, the first reason why we face shortage of water is because of less rainfall or no rainfall. There are many parts of our country where there is no rainfall at all or the rainfall is very less. It just comes for few days. Now in many parts of the country what happens is people don't know how to utilize this less amount of water or how to store this less amount of water. So we face shortage of water. The next reason is water is pumped up from under the ground by electric motors. Now due to which a lot of water pumps up. If we pump the water with the help of hand pump, 
then the water which comes out is less and we will utilize it accordingly. But water which comes out of the ground using electric motor comes out in lot of amount and that too very fast. So due to which ground water starts decreasing and the wells which we build are actually drilled for taking out ground water. And if the ground water decreases, the wells will dry up. So this is one more reason of facing shortage of water. The next reason is the lakes in which rain water gets collected are reducing. Why are they reducing? We have just learned about Ghadsisar Lake. It used to flow in nine other lakes. But because we have built so many buildings and houses around, the water has stopped flowing through these lakes. Due to which the rain water that has to be collected is not getting collected and is just wasted. So this is one more reason of facing shortage. Next, the soil around the trees and parks is now covered with cement. Why is the soil so important? That is because when the rain falls, this rain water seeps in the ground because of soil. And if the soil is covered by cement because we are building roads nowadays everywhere, so if this happens, the rain water will not get collected underground. And remember that underground water is a major source for us when the rain is not available throughout the year. So if ground water is getting decreased by our usage and more ground water is not formed, then obviously we will face the shortage of water. Now in India, there are many places where there is a lot of, sh lot of shortage of water and people really value water and they worship water. So what happens is whenever there are the lakes are filled with rain water people gather around the lakes and celebrate because the lake is filled so that they can use this water throughout the year and in Uttarakhand if you see this lady is worshipping the pond or the spring she is a newly married lady so there there is a tradition of worshipping the water for a newly married bride and even in cities of Uttarakhand people the newly married bride actually worships the tap at home so that they believe that water will never get over in their house. So they treat water like God and obviously water has to be treated like that because it is so precious for us. Alright, now let's see the last part of this chapter which tells us that there are many groups which actually help the people in area where there is shortage of water to get water. Let's see which are these groups and let's see some information about them. So we were talking about some groups. One of the group is the Tarun Bharat Sangha that is in India. This group actually goes to places where there is scarcity of water and it tries to build lakes and johars. Johars as I've already told you are small tanks that collect rain water. So they try to build as many of many lakes or johards and they also try to rebuild the old lakes and johards which have dried up or which are now no longer there. So they try to rebuild them too. Alright, now there is a story of Darki Mai. Now this Darki Mai is belongs to Alava district in Rajasthan. Their people faced a lot of water shortage due to which what used to happen is they had to you know, for long period of time, they have to draw the draw water from the wells and feed the animals and then utilize that water. And because the water was drying up, the water level in the well was going down. So they, were, they used to fall, face a lot of problem people in Alavar village. So this Darki Mai, this lady, had heard about this group and she contacted this group. So this group has done wonders in the district of Alavar and they have got the happiness of the village back. As I have already told you, they build and rebuild the old lakes and johards. I hope you are clear with all these things. So what all have we learned? We have learned how do we get water nowadays in various parts of a country? What is the reason for shortage of water? What are the various customs related to water? and a group of helpful people which go to places where there is scarcity of water and help all the village people there. I hope you are clear with all these things and here we come to the end of our session.